all right family so welcome back to the rings african experiences remember our previous video we handled uh bungalow houses when it came to wiring of housing now we are going to handle flats i no longer want to make the videos so long that's why i'm breaking these things down because well also most of you don't have the patience to sit through these videos so right now we are back at chotera shoppers corner we are shooting what you need and how much does it cost to wire electronically wire your flat your mansion if you're going upwards an apartment i don't know most of you are actually building apartments these days so i want to explain something for you okay if you watched my previous video on bungalow houses the difference is here that's why i didn't want to mix the videos you need the same things uh, a person building a bungalow needs the difference is their wires for example they are 1.5 it has all these three wires in one do you see that these are different wires this is one two three you need all of them together to do something in a bungalow house these three wires are combined together in one wire but for you the way you see it here this is one roll everything is combined but if you are building a flat an apartment or something you need to buy all these three parts for example if you want 1.5 millimeters of wire you are going to buy all these three in order to light your apartment so when someone tells you that each of these cannot cannot work at this is 75,000 Ugandan shillings this is 75,000 Ugandan shillings this is 75,000 Ugandan shillings and all together they make one wire but they don't combine them for you i don't know but the, the science behind is you're going to have a lot more load on your building than someone using this okay if we put this in your apartment everything is going to blow up it will electricity will constantly go off everything you have short circuits everywhere that's why electric electricians use this they are not dumb they're not looking to make more money off you it's just how it is okay so for when someone says they want 1.5 millimeter to light up because remember 1.5 millimeter this is used for lighting you need to buy all these three so if they tell you they want maybe 15 rolls it means you want an equal number okay 14 14 divided by three that is almost four, four, four rolls of each so if someone tells you they want 14 or 16 rolls of 1.5 millimeter you need to buy three of these three of these three of these to make a complete wire are we together are we understanding that's why I separated this we need to understand what I'm talking about so each of these is 75,000 Ugandan shillings remember the prices I'm giving you are wholesale prices and this video is strictly for people building apartments flats anything above four no anything above six bedrooms anything above six bedrooms you can even be having a bungalow that has about seven bedrooms 11 bedrooms bungalow with, uh, boys with quarters flat house, flat roof. with a flat roof yeah. oh, they also use this okay oh yeah they need conduits man i saw conduits here you know you need those conduits those conduits are part of elect electric 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 what what is that thing electrical wiring but conduits are easy to buy how much are they conduits are uh, depends for the for the flat house mm. it depends their sizes also they are different sizes okay i will look at those conduits another time but conduits are basically hollow pipes where they push these wires through to reach where they are going simple as that 
so don't be confused now the same thing for 2.5 millimeter you still need to buy three of these now 2.5 millimeter uh, each is going to cost you 120,000 Ugandan shillings okay and that's a different one so you need three as well okay now for six remember uh, 2.5 is the what is what they use to connect to sockets okay sockets that are used for anything except cooking please don't misunderstand me 2.5 millimeter gauged wires are used to connect to sockets that are used for anything except cooking okay now if you're in a flat or an apartment your load cable is going to be 16 millimeters and your load cable a meter is going to cost you 8,000 Ugandan shillings they'll show you and then um, <clears throat> I mean really I don't recommend the 10 millimeters but I don't know your pocket but let me just give you the price just in case so which one is that no this, no, this one is also the same thing as this. This is the twin cable. It has four wires. This is one, two, three. Now here I have one. One, two, three. So this is the same thing as this. It's only that this one works mm. in the house whereby it has a ceiling. Wait. Oh, if it's not a, a flat roof. Can it work for, for apartments as well? Upper floor. Upper floor. Only the upper floor. Ah, yeah. uh, that's a long thing, man. But for this down floor, mm -hmm. hey, you need this. Do you get? Do you get? Do you get what they are saying? Okay, on the first floor, on the ground floor, you can use this, like the price, like for regular houses. But the moment you have a, a any any slab anywhere. You upgrade this to one, these this now they are used in, slabs. in slabs, so that's why we say apartments, okay. But for the first floor or the ground floor, you can use this for regular houses. Sorry, on your on your last floor, if you're going to roof with a timber iron sheets, what you can use this for bungalows. But if you are not all through, you just not anywhere you have a slab, you need this any slab a slab is the concrete that separates floors okay so that is you know you can save some money if you go around it like that you know okay so we move on to six millimeters six millimeters are the wires you use for cooking and those a meter is five thousand ugandan shillings that is in apartments okay if your bungalow house is actually cheaper but remember if you're in an apartment, you're going to buy everything more than once. Three times in order to make the gauge and the strength you need. Ojate kayoka no muslabu cafe. I don't know how you're going to crack a slab. By the way, I don't know. I don't know. But uh, for four millimeter, now remember six millimeter is for cookers. Four millimeter is for heaters. Okay? Man, some of us have apartments with all these things. We should actually understand how much these people have spent in these houses. Constructing an apartment is no joke, okay? It's no joke. I won't even lie. But you have to understand that you need these things in order to actually get these things done so that you don't have to be spending your money consistently on the same things, okay? It's mine. Six o'clock. I wake up at six. The alarm goes off. So four millimeter is the one for water heaters. That one will cost you four thousand shillings. It seems cheaper. It seems cheaper than. Uh, let me first turn off this phone. It is reminding me to wake up, but it's, it's usually my wake up time, and it starts running at six and it doesn't stop. Okay, so I want us to have this talk and we understand what we are talking about, okay? But I think now you've understood. The secret is not big. You need three of each. That's why the prices look lesser. So in case you want a four millimeter, you pay 4,000 times three. 4,000 times three. That is 12,000 per meter for you to have a complete meter. 
12,000. If there are three wires.